Dear students, today we are going to discuss about Wilcoxon sign rank test. Wilcoxon sign rank test is a non-parametric test. This test is used to test the hypothesis when two random samples have been drawn from populations having identical distributions. See, we use non-parametric test when data do not follow normal distribution. You can say that distribution free data or distribution free samples, we use non-parametric test. Here, we use Wilcoxon sign rank test in place of pair t test or you can say when you want to compare two related samples or matched sample before or after interventions or treatment you can use Wilcoxon signed rank test here the assumption is that the null hypothesis the mean difference between the two group is zero this test is applicable to populations whose data values are continuous most frequently, this is used in the comparison of paired data or master sample. Let us see an example of a problem using Wilcoxon sign rank test. The data in the table below shows the duration of the tolerance of pain by 11 mice before and after the administration of a drug. So, let us see does this data provide sufficient evidence and support that the drug increases the endurance of pain. So the endurance of pain before administration is given in the green rows and down as after the endurance or the tolerance of pain after the intervention. So let us see do they differ or are they same the difference is there any significant difference between these two before and after data. So I have made a table to show you what all we need for calculating the signed rank test Wilcoxon signed rank test. In the first column in the first column see the before data is given and the second column after data that the tolerance of pain data related to tolerance of pain after intervention is given and in the third column see the difference between the first column and the second column here the difference is 15.5 minus 21.2 that is 5.7 okay similarly so after 20.1 minus 12.7 7.4 similarly we have calculated all the differences and plotted as the difference you will get positive values as well as negative values see here you get here the minus 0 0.1 because after uh, score was 20 and before score was 20.1 so the difference is minus 0 0.1 so after calculating these differences, what we do is we find out the we find out the rank and give ranks to them. See how do we give rank? So if you see all these numbers, you see the lowest absolute value. Just, just ignore those signs and say the absolute value, the lowest absolute value here is 0 0.1. Huh? So it is given as rank 1 and the next step highest value next to point 0.1 is point 0.3 so plus point 0.3 so it is given rank is 2 so we take the absolute values and give the rank similarly there are 11 in numbers the 11 data are there so the uh, the largest uh, one that it, it is coming here 7.4 so that will be uh, the 11th rank that will be given as 11th rank so similarly we have given assigned ranks then you give the uh, sign uh, to each of these ranks the same when you give sign there is um, see the 8 is given as plus 8 and the minus values for example minus 0 0.1 we give us minus 1 so thus we attach uh, signs to the ranks then what we do is we find out the uh, sum of the positive ranks and negative ranks. 
here the sum of the negative ranks is 14 and sum of the positive ranks is 52. For its Wilcoxon sign rank test, an IL hypothesis is tested using the smaller value that is here the sum of negative ranks that is 14. Here the sum of negative rank is 14. In Wilcoxon sign rank test, if the observed value is less than or equal to critical value, we reject the null hypothesis. If the observed value of W exceeds the critical value, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Here when you see the critical value table, at the, here the n is equal to 11. When you see the table, we will find that the critical value uh, is found to be again 1.05 level it is found to be uh, 10 so here the observed value of w is 14 that is more than the critical value that is 10 so he, here we fail to reject the null hypothesis so it can be interpreted that the uh, there is no difference between the mean pain's tolerance score between the two paired groups or you can say that the intervention is not effective in bringing about a change between the two. Okay, so hope that this problem is clear to you. This is a non-parametric test used instead of the pair t-test used for matched uh, pairs or matched data before or after intervention which is used uh, instead of pair t-test for testing the median difference in the matched pairs or paired samples or paired data. Hope that this is clear to you. See you soon with the next video. Thank you. Please subscribe the channel and uh, like and comment.